turn these into these. I am the Great British Chocolatier and you're watching Chocolate Plus. Hello and welcome to another episode of Chocolate Plus. My name is Mark aka the Great British Chocolatier and today we are going to be making some chocolate lollipops and as you see I have no red bowls here today and um, you get the chocolate you might here we're going to use dark and we might use some white I'm going to use piping bags so without further ado let me just throw these in the microwave yeah the red the red I'm out of breath the red um the red bowls are on vacation they are taking a trip to the college where they are being used for another craft. So, we've got Sweet Tooth Fairy Meltable Chocolates. This is dark chocolate, remember? This is um, no tempering necessary when you're using Meltable Chocolate, um, Meltables Chocolate, candy chocolate. They take out the cocoa butter and replace it with a vegetable oil so we don't have to worry about tempering. But, it goes in the microwave three times, 30 seconds each time. If you've got a bowl, you're going to stir them up, even if you don't think it needs stirring. But in a piping bag, and these are Wilton's piping bags, but I should slow down, right? Well, well one viewer said I put them to sleep, so <laughs> they're so good. So these are Wilton piping bags. I find they're better because they're nice and thick, and um, they're made to go in the microwave. So, you see, I'm just smushing it around and I put it in a tray only so that it doesn't hit the glass or the direct contact in the um, microwave. So I've got a few bags here so let me do white at the same not at the same time um, and we are going to do attempt to do freehand lollipops. I do have molds and um, the next few videos will have um, molds because you know we're heading into Valentine's and um, so we're going to do love hearts and all kinds of things, a chocolate box made out of chocolate. That's a mold um, which I presume you don't always going to have to have in your house. So I thought well, let's do some freehand um, chocolate lollipops. And I'll smush this about like so. All right, it might need a fourth round, but that's round number three. And so, um, so what I should have had is a pencil, or you can print it out. If you print out hearts, I would say make them about two inches high to two, three inches wide. Um, you can draw on, but I didn't have a pencil, and there's no pencils here. Definitely no pencils there, but I'm going to freehand drawing, drawing the chocolate, and then we're going to fill out the, um, there you go, now that's round three in the microwave, and... The reason why we smush it around, or in a bowl you stir it, is you want to distribute that heat. Um, because we know microwaves focus, even though it turns around, it focuses in one area, and you get hot spots. Um, I have been, when I used to just put this straight on there, I used to burn this melt um, on the glass. That's why I use a plastic bowl now um, I can feel some hard bits still in there so I'm going to put it in again but this time I'm only putting it in for 15 seconds and Bob's your uncle and um, Fanny's your aunt or aunt um, that's an old English saying but there we go you know I forgot to put this light on hold on a minute 
I have a, a floodlight right there. I don't think that made any difference. <laughs> so, all right. So just feeding it around. Yep. All the chunky bits are gone. Um, I'd like to um, use the side of the counter to collect all the excess chocolate on top. And now, twist it around two or three times. And I'm gonna take the top of this off as my sign falls down. This hides the the um, machine behind there. That speaks to you when it calls its name. So, she's hidden behind there. So, um, I'm gonna cut just a tiny bit because I want a, a thin, um, it might be too thin, let's see. Another viewer also said they can't see here. So I'm gonna do a little try out and then I'll see if I can move the camera down and um, we go from there. So I'm gonna see if I can draw, oh no. <laughs> Look at this, it's absolutely terrible. That's a very shaky, that's because that's because of the nozzle. I should have a little nozzle, but I don't. And I don't think they come in tiny nozzles. So let's take off a little bit more. There we go. And let's see if I can't improve as chocolate flies everywhere. Oh boy. Okay, so. I'm kind of happy with this. And I'm going to fill in the insides. Let me show you what I did. And to get those ruffles out, I'm just going to tap it down a bit, like so. Let me put it back. Hopefully, I didn't. All right, let me throw this in there. Because I have an idea. So okay, so we've got one heart. Let's see if we can do another one. Again. Once you've got, you can just fill it out. Oh, there, there she goes. Everything's falling down today. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, just gonna fill this in. Like so. You got cookbooks. Let's just stop that. Let's just. Well, it's a bit of a wonky heart. Let's do a circle. Oh boy. It's all coming down now. <laughs> all right, I'm not gonna edit this out because you know, it's what happens when you have one person doing, you know, but it's all part of the fun. And like I said, there's no stress in making chocolate, even when everything falls down around you. Okay, so we've got a wonky circle, a couple of wonky hearts, and I've got some pecan, uh, dry roasted pecan pieces here. Um, which I'm going to, okay, this isn't gonna stay, but it is what it is. And we're going to sprinkle some of these on the top, like so. Um, you can use whatever topping that you want. You don't have to add anything at all. You can put M&Ms on there, mini M&Ms. And then we need, I am all over the place. Okay, these are lollipop sticks. I think these are eight inches long, made of paper. And let's just grab three here. And I maybe should have done this before I put the nuts in. But you're gonna put them about halfway up. Um, yeah, like this. It's started to get hard already. So I messed these ones up. Let me dip it in on the bottom. 
And the good thing is, you can always add more chocolate over the top. So when you're doing this, you're gonna put the sticks in first, and then we're gonna put, and then we're gonna put the, um, And then we're gonna put the um, the stuff on top. Oh boy, I'm making a mess. Big zero this. But it's not gonna change the taste. It's not gonna change the taste at all. So I'm gonna put these off to the side. The counter's nice and cold, so the counter will. So let's, let's try this again, right? Let's take two. I usually always use them uses I always use a mold. I don't do a lot freehand, but I thought it'd be fun to experiment doing freehand um lollipops. So let, let's let's get this white out. Let's put this back in and warm that up because the counter's cold and those there will chill out and they will they will taste good, they may not look the greatest but they're gonna taste good. And um, even though, like I said, I've been doing this for umpteen years, we still make mistakes. So that was 15 seconds to so warm it up a bit. And let's try this again. All right, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do another heart. A steady hand. And then, Another one. And then we fill in the insides. Like so. You want to say, do it the concentration. There's little captions that come up up here. All right, All right let's just take them off. And now we're gonna put the sticks in. Now we're gonna put the sticks in. He says, as they don't come out. <laughs> all right, and all you do, you're just gonna tap them in, little, little more than halfway up, and you're gonna twist, and then you're gonna roll it around in the chocolate. And that's the same thing we do when we're making, um, when we're making a molded one, but you'll see that. I'm just gonna curl the stick a little bit more there, and a little bit more. All right, let's make this heart a little bit more heartable. If you like this video, if you're having fun, click that like button, share it, do all the things that you need to do to it. All right, I think these are done pretty good. So let's bring you over. And there we go, look at that. Not bad. So let me see if I can just bring this down like this and um, show you how am I doing. Am I in? I can't see. All right. So I'm gonna see if that's good there. And I'm gonna to attempt to draw one at this angle. So, see now they've got this real shaky hand again. That's okay. We'll go, we can go over that. Nice and slowly. I mean, you can use a spoon. And then we're gonna fill in all the gaps, like so. Okay. Then we're gonna tap. 
up this. And this goes in like so, you roll it around. And Bob's your uncle. And we'll put some nuts, some pecans on there, like so. And um, that's good. All right, let's take, let's take you back up here. Hopefully everything's in line, I don't know. <laughs> I probably missed it all up. So, I'm gonna pop these in the fridge. Um, I'll clean up. We do, we'll, um, I'll do it with the white chocolate and um, I'll be right back, see you in a bit. Okay, and we are back. They've been in the refrigerator now for about five, ten, five minutes or so. Um, these ones come out a lot better. Look at me, look at that. I like that, I think that looks pretty good. The back is nice and, it's got a few holes there but Ain't no gonna worry about that. Um, so that's my second attempt. This is my first attempt. Um, again, not the best thing in the world, but not the worst. It's gonna taste a absolutely excellent. Um, let me put this back in the micro. 15 seconds. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna see if I can put a white heart on top of this. And we'll see, we'll go up and, you know, I learn to do that or not to do that next time, but I'm learning. And um, if you're having a bowl of, um, if you're not using a piping bag, I guess you could spoon it in and kind of form a heart with the spoon. Um, but then again, you might be a better, better at piping than I am. So um, take over a tiny, tiny bit here. And I think the key is not to, um, there we go. All right, so let's see what I can draw. I don't know if you want to see this. All right, I'm bringing it down. Hold on. Oh boy. Is that good? Gonna see it upside down. Now I'm gonna be drawing upside down. All right, let me see where we are. All right. So, maybe this is better. I don't know. Is it? Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, this is going over the cold chocolate, so it might not be the best idea that I came up with. But... I think I'm gonna just do this, like so. And um, see if I can just smush it with the spoon here. So this is probably showing you how not to do it. But it's so good, all right. Um, let's see if I can write upside down. Um, see if I can write upside down. I'm gonna see if I can write a word. All right. As we're doing this for Valentine's. And then... And then we do a little. I say, why can't I do that all the time? All right. I'm not gonna do anything to that one. So there we go. <laughs> that was my attempt. Now the camera's all off, all wrong, I'm sure. So there we go. Not too bad. I should do another heart in the corner up here since we've got space. As the sign falls on my shoulder. Let's make this a, uh, I'll see you now, I messed it up. All right, see the concentration. Yeah, 
I'm sure my wife would love this. We'll see. Trying to hold this up, trying to hold that up. I did a good job and then I messed it up. Ah. Fill up that hole again. Alright, I'm going to leave it alone. I stick this back in the fridge and then we come back and then we're all going to be done. <laughs> See you in a bit. Okay, we are back. Um, this is the end result. We saw that one. Ain't too shabby. I mean, you can tell it's handmade. We've got that little hole there, but it's all part of the all, all part of the good stuff. And um, I didn't didn't do too bad. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put some of this in the bag. Now, since I can't use the self seal, I'm going to cut that off. Um, and I recently thought of getting some just regular bags where I don't have to, I can just seal up myself with a sealer that I have. So hopefully these are, oh that one won't, this one fit in here. And I had, I had a, um, a I'll be back, I'll be back. Now I'll probably forget my head if it wasn't screwed on. Um, if you buy, there are some lollipop bags you get from Amazon that has the lollipop sticks and the bags and they have these twisty things. And so, it's all in one. So, you can wrap them up like this. And, um, and that's that one. Or, you can buy these packs of, these are I think, six by six, um, Foils, they cut these ones come in pink and red. Um, so I bought these a while ago. So pink and red. Um, we're gonna do this one in red. And we're just going to let's see. Cover it this way. Making sure we cover everything. Not pressing down too firm because because this this is not a molded um, lollipop. It's not as thick as what it could be. As the sign falls again, <laughs> this is do, doing really well. So there we go. I don't. I think this is too wide to fit in in the bag. Let's see. And of course we use dark chocolate, you can do this in milk and in white. If you buy those colourful chocolate um, meltables, you can do them in pink. And in any colour that you want, really. Because all the colours are, <laughs> all the colours are available at the craft store. And um, this one's a bit too short. But these are four by four um, bags. Um, you can buy them. Yep, yeah, now I've got all stuck. See, it wasn't quite good. But there you go. <laughs> we have some here. We have our first ones that we made that aren't too bad, aren't too shabby. <laughs> so I better end this video before the whole thing comes crashing down on me so i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button share it and um, put a comment in the comments and um, put a sentence or two in the comments um, if you like this video um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed and there we go <laughs> have a great day bye bye